send me the video I'll edit it for you and put it on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Videography at its best. It's Speedway car cams or nothing. Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in and watching uh, tonight, if you uh, happen to see this video. Um, after reviewing or looking over some of my cameras, I noticed uh, one had a crack on it. And uh, I went live before on my Team NCAR page, but I figured I'd show you guys how to replace these. GoPro has these lenses you can order, and then there's a, uh, oh, figures, I'm a little unprepared, where'd they go, okay, here they are, I order these right here as well, um, which is kind of just an extra deterrent uh, for your main lens inside the camera to get damaged, it kind of laminates this, this glass right here. Um, as you can see, this one does not have one of them, one on it, and I thought I put one on each one, but clearly this one does not. So if it would have suffered much more damage, that main lens could have turned into one of these, and I would really hate to see that. So I thought I would go live for you guys for a minute and kind of show you um, how to change these out. It's fairly easy. You know, order one of these from Amazon, eBay, GoPro, wherever you can find one. And it comes with a set of screws for for enough screws for one lens. Uh, just in case some of your screws get stripped or anything like that, you've got some extras with the lens. And it comes with a, another water gasket. Um, I also would like to thank you guys for, you know, watching the videos and some of the tracks that have reached out to me lately, having us uh, come video for them. Um, I think this will be our biggest year yet and probably our most traveling that I've done yet. But you pretty much, obviously, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I thought I'd just go live for a minute and talk to you guys. If you were interested, if you have any questions for me. Please reach out. Um, I'm trying to grow my team in car program this season, um, and and find more drivers that want to sign on that, you know, have GoPros of their own, but don't ever have time to edit the footage, don't know how, or don't want to, you know, deal with it. And that's where we come in, where we can edit your videos for you, put them on YouTube, so your fans, your sponsors, uh, your friends and family can watch those. Um, a lot has to do with your sponsors. My team in car program, what I'm doing for those guys is if they can send me the logos um, that sponsor them, I can put those in the video, which gives you guys a little bit more, you know, sellability to them, um, where they may want to buy you a couple extra tires or some more gas or, you know, however they're helping your team out. Um, that way... You know, you get a little bit more support from them by showing them more support with the videos. But that lens is off. Then I take the water gasket off. Because these cameras are waterproof. Up to a certain depth. Um, you kind of just want to make sure no dust gets on it while you're doing this transition. Obviously. Put the new gasket on. And then it's got this little film here. You take that little film off. And you want to line up your uh, microphone and your LED light. Same with the the lens. You got the holes there for the microphone and the LED light. Place that back on there. Grab some screws. Either new ones or old ones. And you put those back on. Luckily, I haven't had to do that for any of my GoPro 5s. These are, are also replaceable. Here's an example with one with the lens on. And then 
that's what the lens off. And the reason why I don't have to replace those is because of the case that I put them in. I get questions from time to time on 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 this, so I thought I'd go live a little bit. Um, this is a fifty dollar case uh, for a GoPro Session Five or Six, and to put it in this case, you've got to take that replaceable lens off. But you've got this one to guard it, and the main thing is this case for us dirt track people protects this. You can run the little, the naked um, mount, so to speak, but you're, you're, you know, and you've got this lens, but you're risking damaging your LED screen right here, and you really don't want to do that. So you got to pay another 50 bucks, buy one of these, and, you know, put your camera in it. So it's pretty self-explanatory there. But just thought I'd show you guys that, at least for those. The GoPro Hero 5 and the Hero 6 have the GPS sensor in it, which is what you can use to put that telemetry data on your, on your videos. It takes a lot longer to edit them because you've got to put that gauge on the video and then you've got to resave it. And for us, you know, Alyssa does those videos and then we've got to put them on a jump drive and then move them over to the main computer that does the editing so it, those videos that you guys see with the telemetry data on it are way more time consuming but i know the fans love it uh, i don't run a lot of them i don't charge extra for them i kind of just randomly pick who gets to run one that night that way i try and do one per class so to speak so we can kind of figure out you know, how fast they're running, things like that. This weekend, I'll be at West Georgia Speedway. Um, one of my sponsors, Michael Barnes, with the uh, Schaefer's Racing Oil products, uh, reached out to me and told me to come down here this weekend because he wanted some cameras on, on one of his cars. And, you know, he contacted the owner, and they reached out to me and were excited about it and book some cameras themselves for me to run on some of their their cars i'm super excited about coming to a new track i think that we're going to do that a lot this season after this coming weekend the next three weekends i'll be in kentucky let's see here we'll be at uh, lake cumberland mountain motor and then i think richmond um and none of those tracks, the next four tracks, I have never been to. So our, our videos are starting to get around. A lot of the tracks are realizing what we, we bring for the drivers. How it helps them also market their track. And offer service to their drivers that they, they can't. Uh, which, you know, kind of helps the fans get to watch and enjoy it. Alright, so we got the, the lens on, all the screws in. It's got another little protective thing there. I peel that off. Again, while we're doing that, we don't want dust to get on it. But So you blow it off real quick right before you add one of these. And this is flimsible. It's, or flimsy. It's not uh, flimsible. Um, it's not a hard lens, but it's mainly kind of like a laminate, so to speak. An extra barrier to make sure that the lens stays intact. Um, so it doesn't really get into that, the main lens, because if you lose that, you might as well buy another camera. Alright, so I add those for an extra level of protection for my main lens, so I'll never see this again <laughs> you know 200 bucks out the window when this camera was still a new one uh, these are uh, 150 bucks now but uh, I mean any money out the window is not worth it 
So I think a pack of 10 of these was like five or six bucks. So I highly suggest some sort of version of this, whether it's these or a hard one, like the tempered glass um, or anything like that, I found to be a great solution for, for that problem. Um, but I hope you guys learned a little bit about from that, a little bit of information in case you've run into this problem with your camera um bobby pierce recently kind of reached out to me he said he he broke his lens i sent him some links to get a new one and help him out in that way i'm glad to have him a part of team in car and if you guys run a gopro on your race car speedway car cams is here to help so thanks for watching if you have any questions for us if you enjoy our videos if uh if you want a gopro on your race car if you have a camera on your race car let me know join our team in car program it's uh, fifteen dollars to edit your feature video and five more to edit your heat race you pretty much just send us what you want done if you you know you wreck three laps into the race obviously you, you, you probably don't want that video edited but you know if you if you started 10th and won the race you know that's the type of stuff we want to edit for you so you have a memory uh, to share with your friends and family forever uh, YouTube's not going anywhere. Uh, that video will always be there. We used to do DVDs, but the cost was just too high, and to keep our pricing reasonable and as low as possible, we stopped doing DVDs. But there are websites out there where you can download the video from YouTube, and feel free to burn your own disc. Um, I've got no problems with that. And really, if you reached out to me and whatnot, I I could probably try and get your your raw footage, or you know the edited footage on our Google Drive, where you can download from there. If you have issues trying to get it off YouTube, um, I'm I'm here to help you guys make memories and enjoy them. I know not every night at a track is is a good one. Sometimes you you know you wish you to try to set different set of tires or. You know, drew a different number at your heat race, but uh, that's kind of just how racing is. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this wasn't a boring video for you. And uh, you got to learn a little bit about changing out these lenses. And any questions you might have on the Hero 5s. But, uh... Let's see. Go ahead. Thank you for watching Speedway Car Cam.